kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to integrate the FFmpeg library using Android Studio. Okay, guys. So it is the library which is developed by R Writing Minds, and basically, it is a video processing and video editor lab uh, library which is built using C++. Okay, guys. So they have developed a wrapper class or I mean the wrapper project for to run on Android Studio so let's get started so first of all here uh, there is the library github link of ffmpeg android java so basically we will try to integrate it in our android studio project okay guys so first of all you need to create a new project and after you create the new project what you need to do is you need to okay so first of all we need to add the dependency so for that we can go to build.gradle and in here we can add the dependency so for that we can write com dot writing minds ff mpeg Android 0.3.2 then we click on sync now alright no, so now the library is successfully integrated uh, into our android project so now what we can do so now go to main activity dot java and here we will try to load the library so for that first of all we can say ff mpeg we can create a, an, an object and here let's create a method public void load ffmpeg library alright so in here first of all we can check if ffmpeg equa is equal to null and if it is equal to null so we can we can say f ffmpeg equal to ffmpeg dot get instance and in here we can pass this reference object and finally we can say ffmpeg dot load binary and here we can say new load binary response handler and this one okay ffmpeg library response handler and now it is saying that we need to throw the exception so now we can you can see that now the error is resolved and here there are four methods which are overridden first of all on failure on success on start and on finish okay so inside our on failure method we can display a message a toast message that library failed to load alright similarly we can copy it and put it inside our own success method library loaded successfully ok and after we this we can just call the method load mpeg library and here you can see we need to add the exception so here we can see you can see that we have not the try cache block so 
that is it let's try to run the project let me open up my phone now my phone is connected let's try to run the project and let's see the output so that we know the library is successfully loaded or not so it will take some time alright guys so now you can see library loaded successfully alright so now we are now able to use the library so the next step is we need to execute some commands okay so now what we can do is we can create another method so we can say public void execute command and in here it will have final string array alright so inside our uh, execute command method what we can do is we can say ffmpeg dot execute and in here first argument will be command and the second one will be new execute binary execute binary response handler and ok so it is asking for the exception so we can add the exception so here we can override some method so what we are going to do is we need to execute we need to execute and override the some methods and here you can see that alright so we can override on failure then we can also override on finish and on progress on start and on success all right so now that is a way to i mean we can uh, execute the commands so for uh, that we can okay so now i guess that is enough so guys uh, in my another video series i will be creating uh, a custom video editors in android studio so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye